Welcome back to Sync Up, and we are here at actually our day three of CS, but day two of the convention. And now uh, we ended yesterday with seeing the Fujifilm X Pro One. Wow, what an amazing camera! But today we're going a little audio for a moment, and we're going to get over the Fujifilm. You know what I'm talking about? It's monster baby, huge headphones. They're the kings of it, and we're going to see what they're all about right here at CS. Come on, let's go. So what do we have here? We have an iPad, and uh, we have it looks like. Some very cool icons. Right, right yeah. So what we see here, actually, we won the AT&T Power Your Future contest. With, uh, uh, with so uh, essentially, Monster has created these power protection products. Okay. What this does is it protects the appliances plugged into them. Mm -hmm. And you basically need that if you're going to buy anything expensive. Like you see around here in CES, you have to protect those appliances. Yeah. So you course, need yeah. this anyway. Yeah. Especially with the surge, anything goes, they're, they're out. Totally. So out. Yeah. yeah. But what's really cool is these are now internet enabled. And that means that from anywhere in the world, I can control and monitor my appliances and actually save money on this. Well, this is amazing. Yeah. So check this out. Right now, this lamp uh, next to me is, is consuming almost 30 bucks a month if I were to just leave it on. All right? And I can see that in terms of dollars and cents and in terms of watts. I can actually see, not only in real time, but I, I can actually see what I've been consuming over the course of you know, a day, a week, or whatever. And, and, wow. uh, once you see how much you've been consuming, yeah. you really want to be able to control that, right? Exactly. What you do is on the back of every device, let's pretend I just got this out of the packaging. Okay? Yeah. The back of every device is a QR code. You can use that QR code to download that app, which is free. And uh, once you have this device in your hand, now you're faced with the problem of, you know, I need to get it connected up to my user's account so right. I can control it, right? So we have really made this super easy by scanning this QR code within the app, and boom, it's added, <laughs> all right? I just added this device. Uh, what, what, I mean, how much does something like this cost? So the, the base system with a one socket device yep. and, uh, and a gateway. Yep. Uh, I think the, my gateway seemed to wander off here. Someone, there we go, look at this. Okay. There's a gateway, all right? This gateway is, is uh, basically you plug that into your router, yep. you give it power, and you're done on that. That's your internet connection, okay? Okay. And uh, so you need one of these in your house. Okay. And it can talk to all the devices in your house. Okay. So the base uh, system with a one socket plug yep. that protects your appliances and can monitor and control single socket, plus the gateway is only $100 in, uh, in the United States. That's it. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much, Dave. This Thank is amazing. You, yeah. Absolutely amazing. Great meeting you. Thank you. Hey, buddy, we're here at the Sony booth at CES 2012, and I'm here with Ali. How are you? Well, sir, how you doing? Fantastic. Now, tell us about this. I mean, this is a stunning piece of art. Uh, it's uh, one of our newest Xperia line. It's a 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor, 12 megapixel rear camera, front HD camera. Wow. Um, it's going to come in two versions. It's going to come in a 16 gigabyte version and a 32 gigabyte version. Okay. It's also going to come in a color of white and black as well. So it'll come in two colors. And it's running Android, right? Android 2.3 Gingerbread. When we announce, when we release it. And it will be available for ice cream sandwich. Um, we are looking to ice cream sandwich upgrade for all our Xperia lines sometime in Q2. So that's probably pretty much going to be in line with the launch of the phone. Okay. Now I was playing with this a little bit. I got to tell you, this thing is quite, quite fast. Can you kind of give us a little bit of the like overview of like what makes this phone stand out from the rest? Um, obviously, looking at it uh, with the matte black finish, very nice, feels good in your hand. You notice there's a white stripe here, clear stripe. Yeah. That's actually our antenna that's built into the phone. That's the antenna. Yeah, so um, you notice uh, I can power it on. You can notice it'll kind of lights up at the bottom there, so that's kind of really nice. So yeah, it actually is in our antenna. And if you notice right above it, there's a little keypad here to touch it for going back, going home. Very nice. Uh, one of the coolest features about this phone is our quick capture feature with the camera. Okay. Um, most phones, you have to wake it up, unlock it, find the camera picture, then take a photo. The moment's gone. The moment's gone. With this phone, from a sleep mode, I can take a photo in 1.5 seconds. Clear. What, what kind of technology are you using on the screen? It's actually um, our Bravia technology, same technology we use in our television, so it's our true HD uh, format and color resolution, so it's very good. 1280 by 720 is the resolution of the screen. Thanks, Ali. Appreciate it. Have a good day. All right, guys. There you have it. Xperia S, baby. I know you want one, and I think I do, too. <laughs> Hey everybody, we're here at the Panasonic booth of CS 2012 and behind us, it, it is a monster. This thing is huge. It's its own planet, its own country. I mean, we're going to see everything from the Lumix cameras, the TVs, to a whole lot more. So come on side and let's check it all out. We are here at the Sharp booth at CS 2012 and they're saying bigger is better. And looking behind me, I have to agree. 
Holy cow, this is an 80 inch LED TV. And I'm gonna tell you, you wanna know how thick this is? That's it. Stunning, look at the picture quality. I just saw three women on there and I thought I could take them home and date them. They were fantastic, they look so lifelike, so real. There you go. Which one would you take? I'm taking all three. Let's go inside and see what's up. We're here at the Sharp booth at CS 2012. I'm here with Duke. Now Duke, what is this in front of us? This looks like a very large tablet. Basically that's what it is. It's okay. an interactive whiteboard. Okay. Uh, but it's also designed for presentation, for long distance learning, for video teleconferencing. Right. It can be used for all those. So it's more of a multi-purpose type tool for business and then Okay, now I noticed that there's a guy right here that's drawing on it, uh, drawing pictures and so forth. So is that quite, is that sensitive? It really is. And that also shows you what fine detail you can put into it and also how quick uh, the response time is from the pen to the transfer of the image. So you can actually take a blueprint, put it on this, and go right into the details of the blueprint. And also do it via long distance. It works seamlessly with WebEx or GoToMeeting or Skype. Yep. So the person on the other end can see whatever my annotations are at the time that I do it. Okay. Then I can relinquish control to them through the WebEx or the server. And that person on that end can make their annotations and I see what they've changed. Okay. Fantastic. Now is this going to be available worldwide as well? Yes, it is. All right. Thank you, Duke, so, so much. Thank you. Thank All right. You, you too. Thank I'm you. here with Brad. How are you, Brad? Good. How are you? Good, good. Now, tell us what's uh, behind us here. Uh, what we have here is a demo of 4K technology. What we have uh, this direct TV here is going to be a regular 1080p television. The one over here is 4K. The difference between the two is roughly 2 million dots of resolution. This one over here has 8 million dots of resolution. 8 million dots resolution. Do we need this much resolution, Brad? Uh, the great thing about this particular demo is we're actually showing a 1080i signal coming in and showing you the difference of what an 8K television can do, or sorry, a 4K television can do versus a 1080p television. Another thing we've added with our 4K television is something called ICC. And with ICC, the uh, IQ Research Center has done a lot of research with us um, as far as testing what the mind can actually see versus uh, light in the way the image looks on television. Right. So they've been able to help increase the overall perception of depth to create more of a three-dimensional type image when you're looking at it directly on uh, a regular television. So, I mean, this is, okay. <laughs> and the size-wise, what are we looking at on the TVs? Uh, uh, we're, right now, it's not been finalized. We're experimenting with a 60-inch, as you see here. Um, over there, we have a 70-inch, and we also make 80-inch TVs. So, it's uh, like 80-inch is beautiful. Very good chance you can see um, it pop up in either a 60, 70, or even an 80 inch screen size. It hasn't been finalized yet. All right, Brad, thank you very, very much. We're in front of Hire here at the CES uh, 2012. And what I've got is, you know, normally we're seeing smart TVs nowadays where they control by, you know, face recognition, by, you know, hand gestures, or we're seeing the Samsung, but Hire decided to take it a step further. Brainwave TV. Now you put this contraption on your head, and you're it's going to do what you think. And uh, there's a demonstration right now of a game, uh, but unfortunately it's all in Mandarin. So we have Alexa here with us who has been able to help us translate, and we're going to get somebody from higher that's going to also help us with the game as well. But you're going to be able to control this with your mind. Change the channel. I hate that movie. I love that movie. Wow, she's hot. I want to watch more TV shows about her. Sorry, just getting ahead of myself. But let's see what this can do right now. Okay, also in the higher booth here at CES, we have a first here, I've never seen this before. This is a transparent television. Look at this, transparent, and looks like the television did go off. There it goes back on. Look at this, my hand. How beautiful is that? This is where technology is going, folks. Imagine a transparent television. You better, be, you better just have something very good looking behind the TV, otherwise it's gonna look ugly. So you gotta pick a very hot woman to just stand there all the time. Just, you know, in a nice outfit. What do you think? I'm thinking that could be really, really good television. Anyway, check out more of this at uh, Hire as well, because this is going to be coming to the market sometime soon. We're here at the Toshiba booth at CES 2012, and I'm here with Bill Monroe from Toshiba. How are you? I'm doing great. We're having a great time at the show. I can see, and uh, you've launched a very, very new product, I can tell. This is absolutely stunning. What is this? This is the Toshiba Excite X10. This is the world's thinnest, lightest 10.1 inch tablet. Powered by Android 3.2, and it will do Android uh, 4.0 as soon as uh, we have that, that release. We'll get that out, get out that onto there for you. But the great thing about this is that for the customer who wants a tablet that is going to be really thin, really light, always take it with them. Maybe throw it in a bag, maybe even just throw it in a leather folio instead of carrying a legal pad with them. Right. This is the tablet for them. Things that, they, that you'll see is 
Uh, sometimes you don't have all the ports on there that you need. Right. With Toshiba, staying connected to other devices is very important to what we do. Okay. So even though we've gone really thin, we've still kept the connectivity options. So we have the micro SD card slot right here. Okay, Bill, fantastic. Now let me ask you, what are the specs inside of it? Are we do talking dual core? Are we talking, you know, what, what are the we're screen? Talking, we're, we're, we're talking a dual core processor. We're talking a 10.1 inch screen that features uh, Gorilla Glass. It's actually yep. our first uh, laptop with, with Gorilla Glass on there. Right. It's available with 16 gigs or with 32 gigs of storage. So okay. plenty of storage space. And of course, if that's not enough for you, that's what that, you've got that, that micro SD card slot on there. Fantastic. In terms of durability, we've also got that magnesium alloy chassis on there, which is a material we have a lot of experience with from our track record in thin and light laptops. Yeah. Additionally, you also have two webcams on there. So you've got a two megapixel webcam on the front, and that's yep. what you do for doing your video chats. Right. And then on the back, you have a five megapixel webcam. So that's what you would use for shooting pictures or shooting high definition video directly from the tablet. This concludes our second day here at the convention of CES 2012. I tell you, we've seen a lot of things. We've seen so much technology, but we cannot cover this place in two days. That's why we're coming back tomorrow, so we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.